the Arts Palace of Georgia is one of the most beautiful, interesting and attractive buildings in the capital of the country. Its front yard is filled with children almost every day. This is the best place for school children to have fun, get an education and show off their talents. Children listen to interesting lectures in the auditoriums and halls. The halls of this palace, or rather the museum located here, attract visitors of all ages and people often have to stand in long queues in order to view an interesting exhibition. Even the best artists in the country know that to have an exhibition in this museum is a great recognition of their work and a major accomplishment. The Arts Palace often attracts the attention of the entire country because world famous politicians, actors, sportsmen and other public figures come to see the displays. They cannot hide their admiration and the local treasures always leave a great impression on them. Basically, the Arts Palace of Georgia is at the epicenter of the cultural life of the country and the region, which is why in 2020 the museum won one of the most prestigious global awards, the 2020 Traveler's Choice Award. However, before achieving this and other successes, the museum and its team had to tread a difficult path and overcome many challenges. Several years ago, the Arts Palace of Georgia was a museum that was on the verge of collapse and institutional abolition. The unique building was built in 1895 by order of German Prince Oldenburg as a token of his love for the beautiful Georgian woman Agrafina Japarice. But several years ago was in such a deplorable condition that any people inside were at serious risk of harm. The most valuable collections stored in the building were in serious danger. The vast majority of them needed restoration but there was a complete lack of the basic conditions necessary for a museum. In 2014, the new administration of the museum began renovation of the building and restoration of the museum collections with funding from international organizations. Everything was done with scientific precision the restorers used every opportunity to restore the original look of the palace to create a complete historical picture according to the small artifacts that had survived the destruction. The old furniture of the palace, which for years had been stored in unsuitable conditions, was restored together with the building. With the support of the local community, sponsors and supporters, we found valuable works of applied art that had been removed from the palace during the Soviet regime and returned them to the historic site. Volunteers have become an integral part of museum life, along with experienced staff who played a major role in the proper storage and packaging of museum collections prior to refurbishment. Museum life did not stop during the restoration process. We were not afraid of difficulties when we did not have exhibition halls. We used the beautiful facades of our palace to attract visitors. We revived the walls with unusual installations and video art. During the process of reconstruction, if the restorers allowed it, the contemporary halls were filled with unusual exhibitions. In this way, the Arts Palace was the first Georgian museum whose renewal and rebirth was carried out with the active involvement of the local community art lovers and the general public. In 2020, based on the rich traditions of the Georgian State Museum of Theatre, Music, Cinema and Choreography, a qualitatively new museum was created with renovated and refurbished building, unique historic halls and restored exhibits. Today, the Arts Palace is proud of its many achievements, but the greatest achievement is that the museum has become a prominent location in Georgian society for education, entertainment and communion with real art. <laughs>